Well, I got the John Deere 5055D and the sprayer's off. It's really windy or breezy, I should say. And we're going to go up on the hill in one of my previous videos. I talked about a new road and a new hay field. There's the start of the uh, bulldozer work on the road. And right here is the bulldozer that's doing the work. Caterpillar D5K2XL. Looks heavy duty to me. So right here's the new road and I keep calling it the new road but it, this has been here for as long as I've lived as long as my dad's lived probably as long as my grandfather lived my great-grandfather would go up through there and uh, and what we're looking to do is to make hay on a field right above uh, those uh, that that's a uh, bunch of trees up there and so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to drive up through here with my John Deere and we'll get out on the uh, the uh, the field and I'll show you that. Uh, the biggest thing about the road is it's wider, it's flatter, and it's packed down. And I feel like it can take the weight of the equipment, kicker wagons. You know, my Massey Ferguson uh, 1105 weighs over 15,000 pounds. So we want to make sure the shoulders of the road are firm and everything's wide enough that we can get in and out of here without hitting any snags. The old road was fine for a pickup truck or a smaller tractor. Uh, really, you wasn't going to take any hay equipment up there. here when the guy with the bulldozer dug the road, which is okay, but we would have preferred that he started right about in here, because as you can see, if we're bringing a tractor up, and this will be a hay field too, if we bring a tractor up and then come down, now we got to deal with that little step in the side of the uh, bank that kind of made a little bank right there. Uh, it's in no way a deal killer. We'll probably come back and dress it up a little bit, but... Uh, we just kind of see how it goes. If we need to, uh, we'll dress it up. So we'll keep going.
So this is the field, and uh, obviously it needs some work. There's some uh, multiflora rows and autumn olives, and there's a few stumps in here from when we had uh, things clear cut, especially out that way, and they're pine stumps. Uh, we'll probably, I'll probably bring a, a little mini excavator in here and, and deal with those things, but uh, we'll go up uh, uh, until it starts getting really steep and then come down and go across each side and then the field goes on over and stops at that uh, tree line there. We're looking at the back side of it from where we first came in. So uh, I'll be working on this field over the summer and uh, might uh, have it in, uh, might have it ready for uh, paying for 2022. Uh, it depends on how many irons I got in the fire. And, uh, but this road that we had uh, put in is just a real blessing uh, in order to be able to get up here. So uh, right up there is our high ground hay field. And uh, on my, one of my other videos, I was looking across over here. And uh, so this is gonna make a really nice uh, field of hay. Looking forward to uh, getting this thing all dressed up and greened up and uh, into hay production. And so thought I'd show you the new road and the new hay field. So hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later.